everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Amazon Fire Stick remote simply not working. And this is very easy to do. What we want to do first is take out the batteries on the remote. So let's take these out. Now pull down the power button for at least one minute and press every button on the remote, trying to dislodge any button that may be sticking in. So go up and down the remote, just pressing every button in at least three or four times and then you can let go of the power button. So let's do this two more times. Sometimes when you have a button that's pressed in, it's gonna make the remote unresponsive. Now, I'm gonna let go of the power button and I'm just gonna tap this on my hand a couple of times. Now, let's put the batteries back in and then we can try the remote and see if it's working from here. If it's still not working, we can completely reset the remote by holding down the back button the button with the three lines on it, and the left button. So let's press all three of these buttons down at the same time. One, two, three, 12, 13. Now you're gonna notice after 13 seconds, your remote is gonna be reset, and it may go back to the home screen on your Fire Stick. Now when this happens, we need to repair the remote back to the Fire Stick. So the easiest way to do this is by holding down the home button. If you hold this down, you're going to notice this green light is blinking now. And it's going to try to sync back up to the Fire Stick itself. Now you can continue to hold this down for at least a minute or longer to see if it syncs back up. And you can repeat this process multiple times. But I'd suggest getting closer to your Amazon Fire Stick and get a really good signal. Okay, so I'm holding down my remote, trying to sync it back up to my TV. And I'm going to bring the remote back behind my TV and directly next to my fire stick to see if it will connect without having anything obstruct the signal. So it doesn't seem like my remote is connected. The next thing I wanna go ahead and do is unplug the Amazon fire stick from the wall outlet and restart it. So let's do this simply, just unplug it and then plug it back in and just cause a quick reset. So my fire stick is now restarting. Now now sometimes if you just leave your TV up for like three or four minutes, you'll get something that pops up that says no remote detected. And from there, it's very easy to connect. It will tell you some tips on how to reconnect it simply by holding down the home button. All right, so this window appeared where it says placing the remote closer to the fire stick, pressing the home button for at least 10 seconds, inserting new alkaline batteries, unplugging your Fire TV device, waiting five seconds, and then plugging it back in. If your remote still isn't working, reset it by pressing the three lines button, the back one, and the left one for 10 seconds. And so typically when I see this screen pop up, I can press OK and my remote will work. And that usually pops up after like three to five minutes of just having your TV up without doing anything. So you can wait for that. If it still doesn't work, you can use your phone as a remote, and then you can go to the Bluetooth pairing options. So on my phone right now, go over to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, and then just type in Fire Stick. Then get this application. It's called Amazon Fire TV application, and make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi. So here's my Wi-Fi right here. Simply connect to this, and then you should be able to use your phone as a remote. So let's open up this application, and here is my Fire Stick located right here. So let's select this, and now it's connecting, and I'm able to control my TV with my phone now. Using your phone, go all the way over to settings, then select this, and then go on down to where it says controllers and Bluetooth devices. Then go to Alexa voice remote, then go to add new remote. Now it's searching for a Bluetooth device to connect to. Hold down the home button on your remote, and it should connect and display under the screen if it wasn't pairing before. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six tech.